The Navajo Nation is now the largest Native American tribe in the country. According to new federal figures, its population now totals nearly 400,000 citizens, surpassing the Cherokee tribe. This comes after a new push by the nation to enroll or update the records. Joining us live this morning is Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez. Good morning, President Nez. Good morning and good morning to your viewers. Thank you so much for being with us here on Today in AZ. Let's start with talking about that updated population count. Why was it so important to make sure that everyone who is a Navajo is enrolled in the nation? Right, and you know, we have uh, seen the increase in population uh, all across the country with the 2020 census. And we updated our, our numbers and it was great to see uh, direct relief going out to our Navajo citizens through the CARES Act, which helped uh, bring those numbers up, uh, the enrollment numbers up. So, you know, when when uh, we've been discussing the, the enrollment, we here on the Navajo Nation require a quarter blood, blood quantum in order for enrollment. And uh, many tribes throughout the country still use the one fourth blood quantum requirement to enroll their citizens. But Others have less restrictions. Well, the CDC recently announced new guidance, of course, when it comes to people who are fully vaccinated and wearing masks. And since then, you've seen many places have removed their mask mandates. So why is the Navajo Nation deciding to keep its mandate in place? I, I truly believe that, uh, you know, everyone uh, on uh, the Navajo Nation has been uh, following through these protocols that have been coming to us from the CDC. And uh, we we actually here on the Navajo Nation have been using the 2020 CDC guidelines, you know, uh, from then on 2021, you've seen the CDC lessen those restrictions. Uh, you know, for example, you know, the six feet, the foot uh, social distancing gone to three, three foot we have uh, continued to uh, keep the six foot social distancing and now our mask mandate continues. We started our mask mandate in April of 2020 and that will continue. And you can see across the country right now, there's a lot of confusion on these uh, new guidelines, but here on the Navajo Nation, we're gonna continue to uh, keep the mask mandate in place to keep our uh, Navajo people safe and our businesses and uh, hopefully uh, sometime soon, we're gonna be reopening to our visitors here. And uh, that there is just to keep our people safe and vice versa to well, keep that is our the next uh, question. visitors safe as well. Excuse me, President Nez, that is the next question though. There are so many wonderful things to see and do in Navajo Nation. When do you think, or what are your plans for starting to let visitors back in? Right, well, our goal here, this is how we're gonna be measuring it uh, on the Navajo Nation is to get 75% of our Navajo residents to be fully vaccinated. That's two shots of either Moderna or Pfizer or one shot of Johnson & Johnson. And so today uh, our updated numbers show that we have received 200, over 247,000 doses. Uh, 221,782 have been given. That's 89.7% of what we receive have gone into the arms of our Navajo citizens. 103,010 have been fully vaccinated. So we're, we're around 70% of our residents being fully vaccinated. So uh, with the opening of the 12 to 15 year olds getting vaccinated, I think we will be quickly getting up to uh, hopefully that 75% threshold so that we can consider reopening our, our Navajo Nation to our visitors. Yeah, That's our goal. You're so close. That's so impressive in such a short time as well. Um, so First Lady Jill Biden during her visit last month called the Navajo Nation, quote, a living example of the COVID response in the U.S. Cases there, as you mentioned, remain low. Um, you talked about the high number of members who are willing to get vaccinated. What do you think led to your success in fighting COVID as a nation? Really just getting the information out to our people and allowing them to ask questions and getting our public health uh, experts to answer uh, those questions. You know, as you know, we had uh, Dr. Fauci on our town halls. 
uh, Dr. Berla. We even have our own Navajo doctors who have been uh, on these town halls giving uh, information to out to our Navajo people. We have uh, town halls every Tuesdays and Thursdays where our citizens tune in, ask questions. And uh, the other factor is just using our way of life teaching. You know, this is not about uh, individual self, but uh, about our community. You know, we want to protect our families, our communities. And I think uh, a lot of our citizens thought of it in that way to where, you know, the, the vaccine is the armor to protect us from this monster called COVID-19. And utilizing our teaching, I think, really assisted us and our elders really uh, teaching our, our younger generation about the value of uh, life and listening to our public health ex experts and our scientists and even our leaders. So the Navajo Nation having some success fighting COVID-19, but continuing that fight. President Jonathan Nez, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us.